We'll be using 20-sided dice today. There's five. I usually only use one dice per number. Website for lottery books, website for dice, and for Kindle books. This is Jimmy the Swede's Lottery Methods and System. We're using the dice roll method and system. We will use one 20 sided dice today. We will use Powerball is the lottery example when using the dice roll chart. There are six numbers that are picked each draw of Powerball. The sixth number is the bonus ball. Every ball or number drawn will have a position. Position 1, 2, position 3, position 4, position 5, and then the Powerball position 6. In the dice roll chart we will have six columns. Each column represents each position of the numbers drawn that day. For example, 2, 4, 6, 12, 56, and the bonus ball would be 25. 2 would be position 1, 4 would be position 2, 6 would be position 3, 12 would be position 4, 56 would be position 5, and 25, our bonus number, will be position 6. Sample draw number 2, 4, 6, 12, 56, and bonus 25. Column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, column 5, column 6. 2, 4, 6, 12, 56, 25. For the dice roll chart, we have put 100 draws and separated the draw numbers as shown and have put together higher frequency numbers on the chart. <clears throat> so when you roll your 20-sided dice, you will be rolling for numbers that show up in the column or position of that number. Each column is numbered 1 to 20. And when you roll your 20-sided dice, it will land on a number between 1 and 20. That number will have a draw number next to it. Write that number down and repeat for each column or position column. When you have all six numbers written down, look at them and now write them down in numeric order. We will visually show you steps. Once you have these numbers in order, you will have six numbers in order, except for the bonus ball, which generally runs high and low. Now, to pick the bonus number, <clears throat> generally the bonus number comes in the number two position or three position if you're just using a six number uh, format. But we're going to be rolling separate for the bonus number, so we won't think of the uh, six numbers as a position number two. This means that if any of the numbers are chosen, okay, well, we're using just the bonus number, so we'll exclude that for right now. Nothing is guaranteed in life, especially when gambling. That is why they call it gambling. <laughs> Professional gamblers play the odds. They look for what numbers come up. Uh, more often, like the frequency, doubles, triples, and they mix in maybe a long shot here and there, but they don't put all their eggs or money into the long shot. There are many ways of playing the odds. So, in the roll dice, you'll have the dice roll column will have 1 to 20. And these are the 20 sides of the dice that we're rolling. The play number are the <clears throat> frequency that are high in that position. And here we have a bonus 
position. And I'll bring it closer. Okay. Now this is the bonus position. Here's position 5. Again, the dice roll number. When you roll your dice, the number that comes up, you'll match it like 11. And then you'll come over and you'll see it's 55. So you write down 55. These are the play numbers. Okay. They have been strategically placed in the column to where the odds best suit that particular number. Again, dice roll. You roll the dice. You come up with a number. Here, you go say 14. Come across 50 is the number there. And we'll give you a closer look. And this again is position number 5. <laughs> Dice roll chart, 20 sided, position 4. Dice roll 1 to 20. If it comes up 12, you come over here, it's 47 on position 4. So on position 4, you write 47. Here we come closer, and we'll put it down. Now we come to position 3. You're using the dice roll chart, 20 sided. Again, 20 sides. 20 numbers. Roll the dice. Comes up 17. You come over here. 29. And we bring it closer. And we'll go to the next one. This is position 2. Dice roll chart, 20 sided. Again, roll the dice. 20 sides, 20 numbers. Comes up 5. You come over here. Number 17 for position 2. And we'll bring it closer. And that's it. Position 1. Dice roll chart. 20 sided. Position 1. And 1 to 20. Dice roll. You roll the dice. Comes up 20 over here. You get 11 for position 4. Right down. 11. And okay. All right, not the most professionally done video here. So when rolling the dice, try to figure out how you're going to do it, and you roll the dice. Rolling the dice with the chart, you're getting random draw. And, with the chart, you're getting a statistical frequency tip. So you're combining random and statistics. Again, lottery books, website with dice that you can roll it, and here's a blog site for Kindle books that you can get lottery books as well as other books. And thus ends our video. Mm-hmm.